How does politics affect what you do in your nonprofit environmental work? We have gone as an environmental community from uh, over the past you know, two years, year and a half, from being at the verge of having transformative legislation uh, to uh, combat climate change to uh, defending EPA's right to do its job. I mean, that's the environmental community. That's kind of what, what people are doing. Uh, and you can't help but have that context affect the, the work that you're doing. I work in the, mostly with the corporate sector, which for the most part has actually been pretty consistent through all of that. But you can't ignore the political undercurrent where, again, 20% of uh, people, or 20% more people now right. believe that like, global warming isn't happening yeah. than was true two or three years ago. And, and that is startling. Even when you're working with the private sector, you know, people who work in the private sector are part of the public. And they, you know, there are, there are similar attitudes. And so uh, if you have a decrease in the, the number of people that actually believe in what you're doing is right, you know, they're, they're, there's always more resistance uh, in some of the, you know, accomplishing the goals that, that you set out. So um, that, the political environment always makes within the environmental field, the political environment, if it's, it's a, if it's a little more hostile, if it's more challenging, it makes work across the board more difficult. We've been fortunate that a lot of big companies are, are on the, you know, understand sustainability, understand the importance, but it, it, makes it, uh, it makes it a little more difficult than it would be otherwise. But it's nothing compared to what some of my colleagues that work pr primarily in politics, what they're facing.